So Shimeriko came all the way up here to do what? Parting ways. Shimeriko's taking everything on her shoulders. Is this where she was headed? Trying to flee to the outside world. Shimeriko, stop. If Yakumo gets involved, everything's gonna go to hell. Shimeriko? Raimu, I'm sorry. All of this is my fault. I should have never dreamed of coming here. Don't worry, I'll find a way to save you and get Sokyo. What if you can't? I don't want to destroy against Sokyo. I don't want to destroy the world. If I can save them both, then I... Shimeriko, wait. Goodbye, Raimu. No! We don't want to go back to the real world. The real world sucks. Ugh. Look at how bland and boring it is. Shimeriko, you don't seem to understand. Raimu, you're, you're kind of talking to yourself. I'm a Hakurei Shrine Maiden, and I've solved countless mysteries against Tokyo, and almost none of them at the same time. I promise you, I'll save both you and our worlds. Just to save everything. Oh, really? Yet, the main protagonist, Raimu, yet again, saves the world, but not really. Her overconfidence may as well have gotten her killed against Yurahime. Luckily, we're almost done with the game. I'll be honest, I have been getting kind of bored of it. Ow! Why do you need these Roombos with spikes? Who thought that was a genius invention? What would they help with? Maybe they are designed to clear the trash. Well, they don't seem to be doing a very good job at it. I swear these things look like they're from Zelda, like Ocarina of Time or something. They really look like those wood things that shoot at you. Or am I thinking of... What's the one with the giant moon? Twilight Princess? I don't remember. Well, at least the music is finally different, too. It's not the boring music when you come to the human world. Why is there a knight here? Even the knights escape in Serapio. Well, that's a problem. And mushrooms apparently learn how to hang out on stairs. Is any of the food even good? Azure Birth, that's the same stuff we've been getting from the moon. Probably not. This is why we're not even going to worry with it. Step out of our way. You guys have as much health as always. Oh, but can you see, fairies? We're finally towards the end. Oh, now do we have to clear stuff out? Or actually, wait, that might be an activation point. There should be a thing over here, maybe? Oh, yep, there it is. Now do we have to fight stuff? The frog again? Now the giant frogs are attacking the real world. I don't know if that would be terrifying or totally okay. If you're not mean to Mother Nature, she won't hurt you. But don't go impeding on her territory anyway. Oh, apparently the part was a lot weaker than it looked. Great. I uh, let that fight any of you. Waste of time. Wait, did that only unlock one of it? Well, then there has to be another way, right? Further down? No, apparently not. What about over here? Uh oh, it's Rockman again. It's always Rockman. Ruining the day. 
by having an abysmal amount of health. But the world will always know. Okay, for a second I thought we were gonna have to unlock a third one. Oh, well, the trash just spawned in. The Brumas still aren't doing their jobs. up here actually it might be worth the XP. A lot of your XP, funny enough, actually comes from boss fights. You can beat this game with just defeating bosses and you'll be totally fine by the end of it. That's actually what I did with Marisa when I did her run before. I honestly this game is a little big for what it is. How nice of these fairies to lead the way to the correct path so that we don't get lost. What the? A crab. Oh, it's, it's the weak one, though. He's so close, though. Not strong enough. I noticed that the LOD keeps making things pop into existence. Yeah, it's not a waste of time fighting them. Uh, this enemy, however, we should. I do kind of wish we had our honey healing circle back. It's a lot easier. Save those time. Alright, and the rest of you we're not going to waste our time on. I accept you. Oh great, we can't get in this way. Seems we gotta go find another switch to activate. So thankfully, right down here. Right down the road. The enemies weren't even trying to hide the key to open the gate. Not at all where I thought that was gonna unlock. Oh, great. Oh, and off the tank. Again. But don't worry, who will ever understand why a wooden stick is enough to do damage to a tank? It is infused with divine energy, though. So that's probably the best explanation you can get. Where did those birds come from? Speaking of birds, crows are extremely smart. They could totally give you a photo ID. They're intelligent. Oh no, let me guess, we have to climb the tower. Shin Fukami Station. Not here either. Shoot, where could she have gone? You're behind all of us, Yakimo. You seem to be in a bit of trouble. Yukari, where have you been? You're looking for Sumariko, yeah? I can bring you to her. The real Fukami Tower. See, Mariko's here. Can't believe a tower this huge actually exists. Although there were a lot of things that surprised me when I came to the outside world. Still, I'm impressed when I imagine humans building something like this. Or is this another thing born from See, Mariko's dream? Guess I only know if I ask her. I'm coming, See, Mariko. Before the day is ruined for everybody. Oh, great, we're gonna have to fight her again. 
Raimu, I finally caught up to you. Come on, let's head back to Gensokyo. Head back? I only lived in Gensokyo for a little while. Can you really accept me as part of your group? If it's what you wish for, Gensokyo accepts all. That's not what you said at the beginning. I see. But I can't trust my feelings on this. Maybe you literally said that outsiders are not allowed to cross the boundaries here. It's super bad. And now look at what happened when you let that happen. Well, it's the same fight as the first time, but uh, she has surprisingly not nearly as much health. Sumiko should have been training while we were out adventuring this entire time. that without just constantly moving. Up the fire attack again. So America, you're not proving to be very strong. It actually might make sense that if she's confused about her feelings, then she probably doesn't even know how to fight right now. Are you feeling alright? Please, let's go home already. I'm tired of this. Just don't come crying to me if something bad happens. That's a bit troublesome. Look out, Simrico. Yukari, why did you do that to Simrico? This isn't the place for that conversation. It's so too soon. Please come to the tower further down. Dang, what's going on? Why, why is this happening? You gotta make things drag on, Yukari. There's not gonna be a single enemy in here. Just run through the tower. Oh, we can't go that way, apparently. This really upbeat music started playing. Would you like to ride the elevator? Man, that text is very slow. Huh? Ugh. Great. What is this place? You know what it is. Welcome to my world. What are you planning, Yukari? I have to thank you, Raimu. You defeated the Lenarians with a great help. You're thanking me, why? And then you're gonna murder me. Pure power alone is no match for the Lenarian strength. No matter how much you prepared for battle, you would still have barely laid a scratch on them. What are you talking about? I fought them the same way I usually do in one. They only felt your attacks due to the power of Sumeriko's dream. Thanks to that, your Hime could barely unleash even half of her full strength. I know about her strength. She completely overpowered you when we once went to the moon. When did that happen? And so, to exact your revenge, you used Sumeriko, right? Correct. I have been ever since she took an interest in Gensokyo. Although I did not account for her dream's rapid expansion. None of that matters. All I needed to hear was that you're the one behind all of this. Wow, who could have guessed? I'll uh, take it down here and now and stop Sumeriko. Life lesson. Uh, anytime Yukari is involved, she's always going to be the main villain. How long do those linger for? Why was the guard not working there? That's weird. So if we know anything about Yukari, she also has the ability to summon trains. Which I think she's... Oh, no, not yet. Just follow the pattern and we'll be fine. That lasts for quite a bit. Huh? Ow. Whoops, completely missed. That's fine though. Well, we missed with that one too. Now it's not fine. Uh oh. Now oh, that didn't last nearly as long as I thought. How come I remember that there being more before? 
Oh, really? You're gonna summon two of those? Come on and face me up front, Yukari. Your cheating gap abilities. Your Hime was actually a much funner fight than this. just in case. One thing that will give you Kari is she does a lot of damage. Oh, not this move again. Oh, wow, that hurts. Finish you off, Kikari. We've had enough of this. Well, are you finished? No way, I'm just getting warmed up. Do you truly think I'm simply acting on my emotions? If I hadn't set this plan into motion, the Lenarian doubtless would have taken advantage of Sumeriko to conquer Gensokyo. I am the sage of Gensokyo. My purpose is to protect it at all costs, and cause problems everywhere. So she says, not actually having protected it. I've taken the actions I can. All I was doing here was stalling for time. Why? All the preparations have been made. What am I supposed to do with that now? Huh? Oh. I didn't know about the dialogue prompt. Now take this and go. I leave saving Gensokyo to you. Yep, getting the work thrown onto me again. You're so arrogant, even after being completely beat up. Tell me what happens now. Oh, it's for you to discover. To save everything. Oh my god, it's the same mission. Apparently that's not it. Alright, well, make our way to the top. Oh, it's a boss fight. With evil red energy. Go meet Sumeriko. I need to prepare. Well, one last check to make sure we have everything we need.